Hello, this is Hakudabin, and I'm here with SCP-76, which I will from henceforth refer to as Abel. Oh jeez, more Ryza stuff? Okay. From Dr. Blank to Director Mario Jones, Record Keeping and Information Security Administration. Subject, revision of SCP-76 as SCP file. I have to go on record say, uh, uh, saying that I seriously object to proposed revisions of the SCP-76 containment procedure is file. I know that redact all important stuff of already claims and it's, it's a security risk, but you and I both know it's just top brass trying to sweep their biggest and most embarrassing mistake ever under the damn rug. Under the dang rug. Omega-7 happened. It existed. Those people died because you screwed up, and you can't change that no matter what. No matter how hard you try to hide it. For God's sake, man. Those people got, yeah, um, deserve to know exactly what he is and what he did. What we did. How we freaked up, so they'll know better. Item number SCP-76, Object Class Keter. Special Containment Procedures. Containment Area 25B is located 200 meters below sea level, tunnel or out of solid bedrock, and it's an isomologically stable area. Sole access to the containment facility. Excuse me. This will be through a vertical elevator shaft, separated every 50 meters with a reinforced blast door. Constructed of 20 centimeter or thick material shielding. Elevators or shafts shall be flooded with sea water when not in use. Containment area 25B is constructed with the following components an outer security perimeter or against outside threats, south by security personnel trained in close quarters combat and counter intrusion tactics, and administrate and support or an area consisting of support facilities and living quarters for on-site personnel. A primary containment zone, PC EZ Ed, consisting of a seven meter cube in case and, uh, and one and a half meters of reinforced material. PCZ is to be des designed to be flooded and drained as needed and to remain filled with seawater unless access to contents is required. A 150 meter killing in corridor, which is to be the sole access to the PCZ from the ASA, including water or power drainage and ventilation lines. The walls and floors of the corridor are to be reinforced in a similar manner to PCZ, with the addition of an electric deterrent system capable of delivering a 20,000 volt shock. A security station located at the entrance to the killing corridor is to be staffed with no fewer than three armed security personnel on watch at any point in time. Armament is to be included but not be limited to at least one unknown on CEIW system on a pencil mount with a clear line of sight on the corridor with a, a pixel glass screen to protect the, the operator from thrown weapons. In the event of a full breach, all on-site staff are to proceed immediately into the closed security station for weapons and armor distribution. Staff will remain at alert condition 1 until SCP-76-2 is confirmed neutralized. Should I remain as passed after the declaration of full breach without a stand down order being given and by level 4 or higher personnel, fire contingency measures will be activated. 
flooding the entire facility in seawater and sealing off the access for a minimum of 24 hours before retrieval was attempted. This will, by necessity, result in the death of all on-site staff. Description SCP-76, also known as ABLE, consists of two components, a stone cube and a humanoid entity contained within. SCP-76-1, the stone cube, is a three-mirror cube made of black speckled metamorphic stone. All surfaces outside and within an SCP-76-1 are, are covered in, uh, in deeply engraved patterns corresponding to no known civilizations. Radio Oisotope analysis indicates that the object is approximately 10,000 years old. A door is located on one side, sealed with a log uh, a, a half a meter in width, surrounded by 20 so smaller locks in a circular pattern. As of yet, none of the keys have been found, making the door impossible to lock once closed. Interior or temperature is approximately 93 Kelvin and cannot be altered by any means, internal or external. Directly in the center of the room is a is a 2.13 meter tall stone coffin, held in place and, shield, and sealed shut by several chains of unknown make and substance, which are attached to the inner corners of SCP-76-1. SCP-76-2 resembles a lean semitic human male in his late 20s. Hair is black and eyes are gray, skin and tone olive. Subject is, uh, is 1.96 meters in height and 81.65 kilograms in weight. Numerous tattoos depicting arcane and occult iconography are present all over the body, mostly in the form of leering dem demonic faces and ranges from Subtle to openly us and tatious. Subject, when encased inside SCP-76-1, is technically dead. However, occasionally, SCP-76-2 will awaken, effectively reanimating completely with all of our processes needed to sustain a, a living human being. Subject will then attempt to leave SCP-76-1. If successful, subject will enter a trance state and seek out the nearest human being, ignoring all other living beings in the process. Upon coming into contact with living humans, SCP-76-2 will enter a rage state, in which it attempts to engage and kill all humans being encountered. To date, only the subject's death has been shown to be effective in ending these rampages. Terminating SCP-76-2 is often problematic due to its significant and physical abilities. Subject has superhuman strength and speed, and although non-vulnerable, has shown a remarkable ability to ignore pain and shock. Progressing on despite what would be debilitating wounds in normal humans, prior encounters have shown that SCP-76-2 has the ability to, among other things, rip through reinforced steel security door over the course of four minutes of sustained assault. Clear over or 64 meters of distance in under 3 seconds. Take multiple of 50 caliber BMG rounds to the head and survive for several minutes to continue killing, despite severe damage to the cerebellum. Swat handguns and assault or rifle caliber bullets out of the air with a length of steel rebar. Survive for over one hour deprived of oxygen before finally asphyxiating. 7672's most unusual about ability, however, is its ability to materialize blade weapons out of nowhere. <sighs> Slow motion video footage reveals that the blades in question are actually pulled from a miniature dimension and no rift described as a small hole in space. Where this portal leads is unknown, as is how SCP-76-2 is capable of generating said rifts. Footage of the blades in question shows them to be made out of completely non-reflective black material 
appearing as a black void in space. As the blades rapidly vanish after leaving the subject's possession, no structural analysis is possible at this time. SCP-762 has effectively been killed several times in various manners. Sustained fire from multiple heavy caliber machine guns, asphyxiation, crushed beneath a, a 13.6 metric ton piece of elevator equipment for use on SCP-761, cremation through the use of a, a THC grenade placed directly inside SCP-762's open chest cavity. During the worst breach to date, containment Area 25, which previously housed SCP-76, was forced to detonate its on-site warhead as a last attempt to contain SCP-762 while it was attempting to escape. Resulting in the total destruction of, of the site and all on-site personnel. SCP-761 survived. <sighs> Upon death, SCP-762's remains will putrefy rapidly until reduced to dust. SCP-761 and the coffin within will then slam shut with great force and the lock will rotate, sealing it shut. SCP-76-2 will then reform within the coffin, a process taking anywhere from 6 hours to 25 years. What posthumous analysis of SCP-76-2 exists shows that it has an eternal system of Highly different from our own, documented data expunged. Additional SCP 76 was found in Blank Mongolia in the 1800s by archaeologists from England. All members of the expedition were subsequently killed on the return voyage home. SV 76 was recovered from the ship Blank by the Blank Society, one of the organizations that later removed into the modern occult coalition and placed on display in their inner sanctum. SCP remained in storage for an unknown amount of years until SCP-76-2 became active and escaped on a date. The reason for SCP-76's activation is currently unknown, but it was at this point the keys to the outer shell were lost. A massive manhunt lasting over three years and blank, took place until SCP-76-2 was incapacitated by I, an unknown person, killing it and causing it to reform inside SCP-76-1, by then retrieved and secured by agents of the, of the SCP Foundation. Subject was in custody for three more years under constant supervision and was terminated whenever it became active. Although it occasionally was able to escape for short periods of time, often due to security breaches caused by attacks from other organizations. The foundation's that at told due to this was data expunged. Data expunged. Data expunged. After the last incident, the current procedures regarding SCP-76 were implemented, although they are upgraded regularly with the increase in technological standards. Addendum 76-2, Project ABLE and Mobile Task Force Omega-7. Classified. Eyes open. I have eyes. <sighs> All information regarding Project Ape on Oval Task 
Ask for Omega 7, Pandora's box, and it's classified. Oh, clearance by order of the O5 Council. By proceeding, you are acknowledging that you have clearance to view these files. That we received, you have the need to know permission from the appropriate level 4 or higher authority. Well, no, but... That doesn't matter. Oh, this is a long one. Mobile Task Force Omega-7 Instant Log From Director Amaya Jones, Record Keeping and Information Security Administration To Level 4 Administrators Actually, I think this might be long enough that I'm going to have to call it quits for today. So now you know exactly what we're reading tomorrow. This has been SCP-76, also known as Abel. Whew. Similar to Kane, this is another, this is the other half of the first story in a, in a book called the Bible, where, er, I think it was Cain murders Abel. This is the SCP's version of those two uh, 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 characters from, from that story. I feel like since they are involved in a lot of other SCPs and canons and tales of many sorts, Including stuff like, like, I, I think I've heard them being involved in uh, some of the cactus first stuff, among other things. I think they deserve their own videos. Anyway, this has been SCP-76, also known as Abel. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Please leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel, as that really does help. That makes me able to make videos that hopefully don't make me sound like I'm talking through a cabbage. I'll see you next time with the with this story. <laughs>